Make such a confident entrance. Let's be honest, it's because Bianca Belair realizes exactly how great she is. Uh, uh, um, Corey, not just great, the great S. Get it? Listen to this ovation. The WWE Universe loves cheering on the EST. Well, oh, come on. Her energy is just infectious. I see Graves even dancing over there. Uh, I'm not sure I call that dancing. Here comes the prodigy, Roxanne Perez. And from Laredo, Texas, Roxanne Perez. Before she turned 21 years old, she had already won the first ever NXT Women's Breakout Tournament and the NXT Women's Tag Team Titles. And she has a bright, bright future. She has got to be ready for the unrelenting power of Bianca Belair. And don't forget about the dreaded hair whip. The self-proclaimed prodigy, Roxanne Perez, is ready for action here tonight. Always ready, always hungry. Roxanne already possesses so much talent for someone so young. And what she lacks in size, she more than makes up for in fighting spirit. I'm sure we'll see that trademark spirit on full display in this one. But across the ring and looking confident as ever is Bianca Belair. Few superstars truly believe in themselves like Belair does. Bianca knows there's no challenge, no opponent that she can't overcome with tenacity and a winning attitude. An uncompromising superstar who insists on doing things her own way. I do have to applaud Bianca for always believing in herself. If Bianca Belair wants to come out on top in this match, she really only has to do one thing, and that's unleash her jaw-dropping power. As long as she puts everything she has behind her attacks, I think she can get it done here. Belair's physical abilities certainly are indeed impressive, Corey, and they could be the key to victory for her. Shoulder tackle! Ooh, this could do it! Muscling up their opponent! What a gut wrench powerbomb! She may have just slowed Roxanne down a bit there. Belair held nothing back on that attack. Just a debilitating neck breaker. Yeah. Belair was scouted there. Lift off! Ooh, right to the face! High-risk maneuvers, and the pace of this match has certainly picked up. And Perez saw that coming. The competitive spirit is alive and well in this one. Yeah, I think these superstars were actually fairly eager to test themselves against one another. That means they recognize she can end it here. And she kicks out at two. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. Party's over. Good night. She faked her out. Narrowly avoids the pinfall. She just dodged a major bullet. Right in the face. Mark. Maybe not. Maybe not. She kicks out at one. It's not over yet. Plenty left to go in this one. Planted face first. 
Belair muscling up her opponent into the power slam. Well, they say everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Well, someone just threw their plan out the window. Very close. The T clearly set again. Hard form shot, and there's more. My goodness, endless blows. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. Enabled to counter. <laughs> Roxanne Perez looking for Griff Pop Rocks. Not looking good for Bianca. No, she's still alive. Bianca proving why she's the toughest with that kick out. And you see a perplexed look now for how such impactful offense couldn't gain a pinfall. She's getting fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. These two trading one blow after another. Oh. Back and forth, neither one giving up any ground. She flips it back on her. One step ahead of Bianca there. Slugged away with everything they've got. Kick down low, all tied up. Is this enough to do it? And she breaks the count. These one counts are going to get harder and harder to kick out of. There's a cover. Could be it. Championship to the WWE fans, and look who's here. This superstar taking interest in the champ, and the champ is saying, you want some? Come on down.